What's up guys, it's CM back again with today's advent calendar deal for World of Tanks EU. <clears throat> and today we've got a really, really good tank. Today actually might be worth it. So today we have the WZ121FT. This is the Chinese tier 8 premium tank destroyer. And man, this thing, this thing's a beast, right? This thing's easily one of the best tier 8 tank destroyers in the game. In, in my opinion, and really, really strong. So why is that, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna start. It, it's more with mobility. It's like, this thing is really mobile. It turns quickly, it gets up to speed reasonably quick, it's got a decent top speed, reverses quickly. You know, that's already pretty good, right? Survivability, okay, so the armor on this thing's actually better than you'd expect. You've got a 120 millimeter upper plate, and look how well it's angled. Like, yeah, that's good. You're talking like 220 frontal, roughly, off the top of my head. It's well, 200 to 220, and then if you're angled back the way, it just it's nuts. Obviously, there's still going to be a lot that can get through you, but it, you can bully like a surprising number of tanks with this thing. Uh, lower plate obviously a weak spot, but it's not that big, so that's pretty easy to hide. And yeah, it has a cupola, but look how tiny that cupola is. And then you've got this one here, which is more a hatch than a cupola. So yeah, very very strong for a TD at least at tier eight, uh, armor wise as well. Oh, and by the way, uh, it has some spaced armor as well. It's very very small, but you can see this kind of. Uh, like seam right here, this little weld. Yeah, that uh, separates the actual hull armor from the spaced armor because this bit here is spaced armor. Not a lot, but it's something. And then the rest of the side armor is 80 millimeters. So that's like, I don't know, like 20 millimeters of spaced armor. So like if, you're, if you hit that, you're hitting 100 millimeters of side armor rather than 80. And it's spaced as well, so heat, if it hits this, will just not really do a lot. Obviously no armor on the back, but that's the same with basically everything. Uh, concealment, your camo is pretty good on this thing as well. 23.09 when stationary, 13.85 when moving. That's pretty solid. Not the best of the tier, but it's decent. View range. This thing gets 380 meters base view range. Balanced. And, and then finally we get to the gun. This is a 122mm gun with 440 alpha, 248mm of AP pen, 310 of heat pen, and the rate of fire without putting any equipment or anything is around nine and a half seconds for 440 alpha. And then when you put equipment on, you can get it down to like seven and a half almost. Well, I think the lowest I got it was like eight and a half. Let me check actually. Just do a quick comparison for you guys. Just use the comparison tool for you guys. Just see what you can get out of this thing. Right? So I'm actually just going to take off the field mods uh, and I am going to just stick on. This is going to be the most balls to the wall way you think, like, thing you could do with this tank as far as like an all rounder setup. Right? If you had like the bonds to spare and you wanted this thing to be as insane as you could possibly get it. And obviously we're going to put a, a baller crew in there. We're going to use premium consume balls. There. So with all of this, yes, yeah, 7.35 second reload for 440 alpha at tier 8. That is dumb. 3.6k average damage per minute. 0.32 accuracy. Your aim time is going to hold you back a little bit. It does take a while to aim. But then, and then you've got, with all this, by the way, with all the crew skills, with the food, with the bond vents, bond optics, bond rammer, your camo goes up to 50% when stationary, 31 when moving. And then your view range, if you've got all that, is 505. Obviously, this is the most extreme way of doing it, but yeah, it just shows you what the potential of this thing is. 
Like, it's absolutely insane. I don't even remember what my stats were in it. 65.89% wins across 129 games, which is, for me, that's a really high. Like, I'm a 59% win rate player overall right now, but this thing's nuts. Now, I marked this thing when, for some reason, the gun mark requirements were quite a bit lower than they normally are. This tank used to have around 3k combined for third mark, and then it dropped for some reason to 2,500. I think maybe some rentals popped up, and then it dropped because more people were playing it because of those rentals. Uh, but it seems to be going back up now. So, yeah, this tank is really good. Now, the price... We're giving our pricing at £24.54. That is €28.60. Euro That's very, very worth it for this thing. It's a good credit grinder. It's a really good tank just in general. What what else do you like? It's okay for crew training. It's not the worst. It's not the worst for crew training. It's not the best when it comes to the Chinese TDs. But man, it's fun. It's a fun tank, and it is strong, and it is just, it, yeah, it it won't let you down. Just obviously bear in mind you have no turret, so if you're not careful and you overextend, you will die much like if you do overextending in general. Uh, but if you kind of play around with some tanks that can support you, or even if you just sit a little bit further back, just enough for you to snipe, this thing will chew teams apart. Like, yeah. Shell velocity on the AP is a thousand meters a second as well. The heat is still a thousand, and the HE, still a thousand. So, pretty easy to aim as well. So there you go, guys. Uh, this one, I would say get it. If you want to get a TD at tier 8, there's a premium, there's a credit maker, there's a pre. Uh, that, oh, that's, that's on sale right now. This is it. This is what I would get. And. And yes, I would actually get this over the SG-130 and the Scorpion right now, purely because it's got that little extra bit of survivability that those tanks just don't have. And yeah, well, it doesn't have a turret, so it lacks just a tiny bit of flexibility. Mm, I'd say the, the, the survivability is worth it in this thing. So yeah, anyway, that's my opinion, guys. If you've played this tank before, if you've got it, or uh, if you are thinking of getting it, let me know in the comments what you think. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Oh, side note, guys. Probably by the time a lot of you see this, I'll be getting my stream all set up. So link will be in the description for that uh, down below. So I'll be finishing. Today I'll be finishing off, as I'm recording this, I'll be finishing off the P43 Terror, the Tier 7 Italian medium tank. As you can see, we're pretty close to that third mark there. And so, yeah. And then after that, I'll be uh, probably grinding some, grinding some credits. So, uh, yeah. I shall hopefully see you guys all there. Until next time, guys, peace out.